how to manifest something for the next day. Many people ask me, because I'm a spiritual coach, because I've been able to see energy ever since I was, I can remember, they ask me, how is it that you make things happen? How is it that you bring things into your life? And I thought about it, and it's not like I sit and try to manifest things. I don't say, this is my time of manifestation, and now I'm going to do this and this. So I'm going to share with you exactly what I do, how it works, and the way that you can do this. My name is Aliki. I'm here to help you upgrade your energy. Let's learn how it is you can manifest something for the very next day. Now, the energy of the physical world around us has a very specific type of energy, and that is the heaviest type of energy there is, the most condensed part. The deeper within you you go, where you have your thoughts and your feelings, the more expansive the energy becomes. So it's actually that the deeper you go, the more expansive it is. So when it is that you feel something and you think of something, you've already gone to more expansive energy. And when you go even deeper than that, what's there is the energy that connects all, absolutely everyone, everything that is around you, everything that actually exists, which means that you're connecting to creative energy, what many call the flow, flow state, has to do with that deeper energy in your heart and in your core. And as you connect with this, what happens is absolutely everything around you aligns. Okay, so the first step is for you to think of what it is that you'd like to have tomorrow. Something that will make you happy. It could be anything. It doesn't have to completely change your life but something that when you see it, you'll say, oh, I feel so good that I have this. Now, when you know what it is that you would like to have tomorrow, then think of its different aspects that would matter to you, the things that are important for you. You don't have to plan out every little thing, just the parts that would make a difference for you. And then see yourself having it. See yourself actually Feel yourself having it. And you don't need to do this for a long period of time, just for an instant, just imagine that you had it. Without putting too much thought or feeling into it, just imagine that you already have it. And now go even deeper into that energy, deep in your heart, deep in your core, which is the flow state, flow energy, which is that creative energy that connects everyone and everything. Now, what happens when you connect with this energy is it's like you send out a message to everyone, everything around you. And remember that this thing, you're not creating it, manifesting it doesn't mean that you're causing its molecules to come together and for it to form. You're actually bringing it into your life, into your reality. So it already exists. It's already out there. You don't need to do something superhuman. You're just bringing something that already is out there in the physical world and bringing it into your physical reality. See it. Imagine it. You don't have to think of details. For example, when I manifested my house, um, the previous house I was in, I saw a window. I had seen a window in a magazine that had all these little parts to it, and I loved the way it looked. So I just imagined a house with that window. And the very next day, that's exactly the type of house I found. It had a window like this in the living room. It was beautiful. And to manifest the house that I'm in right now, I wanted lots of windows. I wanted lots of light. So I pictured it having windows, light, uh, lots of closets for storage space, and big open spaces. And it actually happened. I just found it. I Even the ad that I saw uh, online didn't even have pictures of the house. It just had trees, and I was just drawn to it. And the way that this happens is that you move even deeper within you into that flow energy. The way to know that you've connected to that flow state energy is you'll feel lighter, you'll feel happier. And you don't need to stay connected with this energy for it to happen. It's not like you need to stay in a flow state that you need to achieve some sort of higher level of consciousness. No, 
see what it is that you want, know what the parts of it that make a difference for you, feel it, and then connect that energy within you. It's like sending out a message to all, and then just let it go. Go about your day, do your other things. You don't need to stay in high state energy to attract things in your life. One thing that truly makes a difference is when you're trying something and you feel a lot of resistance like happening around you, you feel that it's really hard to achieve at that moment, perhaps See what happens if you take a step back from that and move in a slightly different direction or in a completely different direction and perhaps return to this later on when you feel drawn to. Start to hear the messages from within you and that will make it so much easier for you to actually attract something in the very next day. The hardest part of manifesting is when you try very hard to achieve something, or you believe that you need to feel it with all your being. You need to really immerse yourself and put all your energy into achieving this. And the truth is that what I have found manifested instantly were the things that I really put very little effort in. I didn't even think much about them. And the moment that I saw them, I said, oh, I thought of this yesterday and here it is. And I was even amazed at how easily it happened. And the reason I was amazed was because I hadn't put much effort into it. If you keep trying to find ways to make it happen, then you actually can put a lot of resistance in it coming into your life. And you can muddle up the energy. The less you try, the cleaner the energy is. The easier it is for the message to be clean, clear and be heard. Absolutely everything is made up of energy. It's just about you believing and connecting with the energy within you and knowing that it first starts within you and then it comes into the physical. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe and also remember to like. Thank you so much for being here.